Hey guys, it's Marvi and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be another haul. Now, this video is going to be a mixture of stuff that I purchased from Ulta and stuff that I purchased from Sephora recently. Um, all of this stuff, um, the Sephora stuff I purchased uh, after the Sephora VIB sale. Um, this is kind of my last order that I made before the VIB sale ended and it took a long, long time to get to me because obviously their shipping uh, was probably really delayed because of the high volume of orders. And then the Ulta stuff, I purchased the Ulta stuff a while ago, but um, I just, I've been so busy with school. I'm graduating, it was finals, and now I'm in intensive bar prep. So um, that is why it's been a little bit difficult for me to film and going forward for the pretty much the rest of the summer it's going to be like that unfortunately so please bear with me i would really appreciate your patience um i am trying to become a lawyer and i'm trying to pass the bar the first time so um yeah it's gonna be very difficult for me to film but please hang in there with me i promise i will do my best i will definitely keep up with my uh monthly empties because i love those so much anything else that I can film in little pockets of time, I will do it. But moving forward, that's kind of my situation. Um, I'm just not, I just don't have a lot of disposable time right now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know with that, what's going on. So let's start with the Ulta stuff because actually quite a few things. Um, I did purchase, couple packets of the Glammetic uh, Press-On Nails. Now these were buy two, get one free, buy two, get one 50% off, something like that. So I did get the Glammetic um, Almond Shape in Angel and then I did get the Glammetic, these are like the Hailey Bieber like glazed donut ones and these are called Hailey. And then I did get another packet of just regular French tip almond nails. And those I actually already wore. I really, really like them. They're in my bathroom. So um, yeah, the reason I got these is like I said, I'm, I spend too much money at the nail salon, even though this is uh, from the nail salon. Um, but these are my graduation nails because I graduate uh, this week. So yeah, but anyways, moving forward, if I have any events or anything to go to, then I will um, be using these for the most part. Um, and so I really like them. I think the glue is really good. I think they stay on pretty well. I mean, they're not, you know, bionic or anything, but you know, they, they are pretty good for what they are, which is press on nails. Another thing that I got is from Mad Hippie, I got the vitamin C serum. It has eight actives. It has con konjac root, ferulic, and hyaluronic acid. The reason I got this is I have been saying in a couple of my other videos that I really wanted a nice vitamin C serum, something to help with my post acne hyperpigmentation. And um, this had, this one had really good reviews. Uh, Mad Hippie is like an all natural brand. Um, they use a lot of really good ingredients and they kind of stay away from like preservatives and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Hopefully it doesn't irritate my face. I'm really hoping that it'll work out. Um, what really sold me was the fact that I had ferulic acid with the vitamin C. So um, again, I am planning on doing like a faves and fails kind of video with makeup and skincare. Um, again, my schedule is a mess right now, so bear with me, but that video is coming. So I will try everything out and then I will um, share what I think. Next is my TheraBreath. It was on sale. I always buy it. I love it so much. It's the best mouthwash. I'm not gonna harp on it because I've talked about it in a lot of my videos. Okay, and the next is from Pixie. I did get another bottle of the Hydrating Milky Mist. I always buy this. Um, yeah, I, I always buy this. This is like my finishing spray when I'm done with my makeup. I love it so much. Um, I feel like it really soothes my face and makes the makeup look really nice. And so I always use it. Every time I run out, I buy another one. And then last but not least from Ulta is this from Tree Hut. This is the Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. I thought this would be perfect because if you watch my last Sephora haul, I did purchase a lot of the Sol de Janeiro uh, products. I don't like their body scrub. I actually think it's horrible, um, but I love Tree Hut's uh, sugar scrubs. And this is supposed to be, this smell, Tropic Glow, is supposed to be a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro smell. So um, that's why I picked it up. I'm so excited to use this for the summer because 
As you guys know, that is my favorite scent for the summer. And I have a few things from Sephora that I purchased. So first and foremost, I picked up this hand soap from Way. This is their hand wash in the scent Dean Street. Um, so this smells really, really good. Um, I don't really have the notes on here. Actually, I do. It's a floral fragrance with notes of citrus fruit, rose, magnolia, and linden blossom. So yeah, it smells really, really flowery, perfect for the springtime. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, I wanted a really big one because I run out of hand soap a lot. You guys know every empties I have hand soap. So I wanted to get a big one that would just like last a while. And I also got a mini glow screen from Supergoop. This is in the shade Sunrise. Um, glow screen is just like a super popular sunscreen. I don't really like glowy products because I have a very oily skin. But um, sometimes every once in a while, I do kind of gravitate towards glowy base products. And so I wanted to try this out. So I got the mini. Again, I'll keep you guys updated. And then I also purchased this from Merit. This is their bronze balm. So this is like their like bronze stick. I got it in the shade clay. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this um, product. I heard it's just really, really good, very easy to use. And it's just like a perfect like cream product. So that's what it looks like. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm hoping it will not be too oily and i'm hoping that the lasting power is good because some of these cream products i'm not a hundred percent sure if you know the lasting power is there so again i'll keep you guys updated i also purchased the moisture glow um lip product recently that Mar makeup by mario just came out with i purchased it in the shade barely pink i did not like the shade at all i did not like the consistency it didn't plump my lips at all so i ended up returning it that's why i don't have it with me but um yeah i ended up starting a return for it because it's just it just it's a color that i've had a lot i didn't think that barely pink was a good description it was a lot darker than that and it didn't plump and it was just like a basic opaque lip gloss nothing special so I ended up returning that but yeah, so that was my quick little Sephora and Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, please bear with me while I embark on this journey to pass the bar exam. So I will be very, very busy with that. So I'll do my best to upload as much as possible. But yeah, so thank you all very much. Um, please like, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.